everybody. Yes, yes. I don't want to sound like a teacher, but <laughs> <laughs> so if you can give your attention to Ken Michael, this is for video purposes. Uh, I'm not a teacher, but she does a much better job at that than I do. <laughs> Notice how everybody quieted right down. It was really great. Well, I want, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming today to the Eastern Historical Society and Museum for a book signing here of a beautiful image of historic Easton. And um, to my left, I have one of the authors and the main photographer, John Coe. Also to my left, I have Robert Buddy Worcester, who in addition to being the co-author of the book, is also a uh, board member emeritus of the Society and Museum. Uh, standing between these two, a rose between two thorns, is uh, Bill Clay, who is the printer of the book. Uh, the book is absolutely magnificent, and I don't say that because of anything other than I've looked at it, I've seen it, and it's just absolutely magnificent. Um, at this point, I'd like to hand the mic over to the uh, co-author, John Coe, and uh, John, take it away. Okay, thank you. So, uh, thank you everybody for uh, coming today. Uh, it's a great day. It's uh, two years in the making, Coach, right? It's about two years, uh, Memorial oh, yeah. Day, a couple years ago. Yeah, Memorial Day. Yeah, and uh, so the, the book is now in print thanks to uh, Bill Clay and uh, Walker Clay Publishing uh, in Hanson. Yes, he lives in Hanson, not Easton any longer. Uh, but uh, before we do that, we have a presentation to the Easton Historical Society uh, from Buddy and myself. And uh, so, Buddy, we've got the book. And uh, if you would like to... Uh, I'd just like to say a few words, if yep. you're okay. Welcome, friends. This photographic essay is far and wild as our town revisited it. And if a picture is worth a thousand words, and I believe it is, this book is eloquent. It is presented as a gift to the Eastern Historical Society to honor a community of friends and those whose hometown will always be Eastern. Thank you. Great. Great. Thank you very much, John. Thank you very Appreciate much. It. Great. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. So you want to you can sit down, Coach. Go yeah. ahead. Uh, so uh, there's a couple things uh, we uh, want to talk a little bit about the book, but we do have a uh, a brief video uh, that we put together, uh, and uh, uh, maybe uh, if someone could help me, who's who's real good at videos? Can can you put that on? You can't put that on. I'll break it. Okay. Let me let me stick it in and see if it autopilots. It might, if it does that, it'll be our good day today. Uh, but uh, before I talk a little bit, uh, this video, I think it's this white one is controlling that. It's going. So if you hit play, we're, we're good. So then I'll uh, just say a few words after this. Just hit play. Just hit the button that says select. Hit something that says. Use the black remote button. Like the black remote. Black remote. That's what they put. This one right here. Right. Yeah, get back on. Which button? Which black remote? There we go. This is the one. You got it. Okay, I'm done. That's it. Two minutes of the day.
so that's just a, a little bit of uh, what's in the book. Uh, we, uh, uh, just a little story about the book. A couple years ago, uh, a buddy came to me and uh, I had been retired uh, at that point uh, after working 46 years with a major retailer. And um, I've always been into photography, uh, but I never really got into it on a project. So Buddy thought uh, I might be the guy for the job uh, to do a little photography. So we collaborated uh, uh, together and with a major assist of the Eastern Historical Society and uh, uh, a lot of thanks out there to Hazel Varela. Thank you, Hazel, very, 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 very much. Uh, Ed Hands, uh, Frank Menino. Uh, the, uh, these folks are uh, not only great friends, but they are walking encyclopedias of history, and especially in Easton. Uh, so I want to thank you all. Without uh, you all, this book could not have uh, been done. Uh, there was many, many times uh, when I started taking pictures, and Buddy is a walking uh, uh, encyclopedia of history as well, and he knows where to go. He's a lifelong uh, Easton resident, and uh, we had many times in the car, we'd go out taking pictures, interviewing people all over Easton for a couple of years, and it was actually it was fun. It was so much fun. And uh, we, uh, we went down here, and Buddy says, take a left down there. I know where Gene Alger lives on Pine Street. Let's ask her about that railroad train they used to go through here to West Bridgewater. And I go, what railroad train they used to go to West Bridgewater? So <laughs> yeah, there's tracks back there. And uh, we, we just had fun following up and things like that. Uh, so it, it's just been amazing. But everything you see in this book are current pictures uh, for the most part. There's a couple uh, that I needed to put in there. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, the, the Guernsey cows and the Langwater cow. There, there's some, it's a great history down there. And Dolly Dimple, we have a picture of Dolly Dimple in there, which was a, uh, uh, the queen of the Guernseys, which was a, a beautiful picture. So one of the older ones, but most of it's contemporary. You'll see a lot of the pictures that I've taken here uh, that are in the book. And so we've got chapters in here, which you'll see on uh, historic places along Bay Road. So we've got all the markers, uh, the, the mile, the tavern markers, and where the taverns were. Are they still there? Uh, are they gone? And we found a lot were gone. Tony Fontez's house on Bay Road. Uh, and uh, i got to tell you what, he's got a tavern marker in his cellar of his house. Uh, and it's just some, so actually, Buddy and I got down there, and I got on, my, on the side taking pictures, and we've got a picture in there. It's actually this way. Um, we got under the culvert down by the, uh, 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 way down on Bay Road, uh, on one, we we're just looking for the last, there's another, there's a hidden, it's maybe in volume two, we'll find that, there's a hidden marker. And I, I think, you know, Ed says, it's down there, get under there, you, there's water there, but get in the water, you can find it underneath. <laughs> so, he knows it's out there, but he just wanted me to get wet. <laughs> So, but we had fun with that. Uh, a lot of the old houses, so we picked on a lot of the old houses that are still standing today. Churches, places of worship, schools, uh, some of the great, great schools and great, great stories. Uh, and uh, it, it just went in the Ames houses, of course. The Ames uh, started uh, uh, all of uh, the, the real famous part of the shovel. Uh, there's a long shop right here. But the uh, the H.H. Richardson buildings, uh, we call them the, uh, I call them the, the fabulous five. There's four major ones, and then there's a gardener's uh, cottage up there. So we've got those. Really, really, uh, we, we found some pretty good pictures there. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, I do want to say also we've got Bill McEntee in the house. Uh, Bill uh, has got some digital paintings uh, represented in our book, and thank you very much, Bill. He's, a, he's an incredible artist. Uh, so we collaborated with Bill as well, and uh, it, it, it was a, it was a it was, a, it was a love, uh, actually, uh, uh, this whole venture. So I, I hope you enjoy it. That's our, our goal. Uh, all of the proceeds that we've done, we've donated our time, uh, our efforts. Uh, Bill Clay, uh, and uh, you know, I know he printed it for, uh, it cost him a lot more than what he was doing it for. So there's a lot of sub uh, subsidy from Bill, but Bob Berger, the Northeastern Savings Bank, uh, uh, and thanks for the, uh, the financial uh, wizardry because uh, Buddy said, let's go up to Bob Burke and see if we can get this subsidized, you know. So, 
Uh, thank you to the Northeast. But everything that you see, every book that you're buying, 100% of the proceeds goes to the Eastern Historical Society. So we're very, 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 very proud of that. So uh, I want to thank you for coming. And uh, for all the folks that uh, may be going to see this on, on TV, uh, but then bought them online, they're out of states. We've got a lot of out of state sales, online sales. Uh, and uh, thank you for the social media, Joanne. Uh, she's just whacking that away all the time. We get that, that, that message across uh, as far as we can go with that. So, uh, but uh, thank you very much. And Buddy Worcester, uh, uh, I want to thank you publicly. Uh, uh, it's been a joy uh, working with uh, the coach. Uh, he was my baseball coach, uh, teacher in high school. And uh, whenever ever I say, I'm working with Buddy Worcester, he said, he must be like 80 years old. I said, no, he's 90 years young. <laughs> you know, and he's, uh, you know. And your buddy's a landmark. So I want to thank you very, very <laughs> much. Uh, inspired me. I wouldn't have been, been doing this or uh, going down this path without your, uh, uh, your vision. So I thank you very, very much. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Thank you. I know John asked like to say one thing. I like the video except red hand shaking hands with a tree. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tree was that? Oh, God, that's a princess uh, umbrella pine. Umbrella pine. <laughs> <laughs> I did have to ask him about that again, even though I did the tour with him. <laughs> yes. Great. I didn't that one up. Is that right? Yeah. Get your picture taken. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming. and. Uh, Step right up and get your books in. Yeah. Bye, bye. Thank you again. Bye, bye. Thank you, John. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, great. Sure. Oh, well, say, say now. I'll sit down. You can kneel. I'll kneel. Here we go.